You might have heard people talking on CNBC about a firm's market cap and using it as kind of a proxy for a firm's size and saying, okay, this is the largest firm by market cap uh, in this industry. And so really we're going to talk about what market cap is. And, and first of all, it's short for market capitalization. Uh, and so when we think about market cap, well, let, let's just picture the firm as a pool of assets. So we've got these assets, and then we've got claims against these assets. So let me just switch colors here. So we've got we've got lenders have claims against those assets, and we can think about that as kind of the liability side of the balance sheet. And then we can think of owners or stockholders, shareholders, however you want to think about it. Owners have claims uh, against the assets. So when we look at the owner side, we might want to say, okay, well, what, what is the market value of the owner's share, the owner's claims against those assets? What is the owner's share? Now, you might say, well, hey, wait a minute. Let's just think about the balance sheet, and, and let's just go and let's just look at, at stockholders' equity, and let's just see whatever stockholders' equity is. That's going to tell us uh, the, the owner's share. That's that residual portion after, after we've deducted the, the lender's share, the liabilities from the assets. That residual is just going to, is going to be the owner's share. So let's just find it from the balance sheet. Well, we can't, we can't do that because what we want is the market value of the firm's equity. And that's not, that's not on the balance sheet because the balance sheet, the stockholder's equity, uh, that's going to look at it basically in terms of historical cost. Right, because most assets are recorded at historical cost, and so therefore this stockholders' equity section of the balance sheet isn't going to tell us the market value of the firm's equity, and that's essentially what the market cap is. The market cap is the market value, market value of the common shareholders' equity, market value of equity. So how do we calculate market cap now, now that we know what it is? Well, we're going to need a couple things. And the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need the firm's share price. And then we're going to need to know the number of common shares outstanding, right? We don't, we don't care about preferred shares. We want to know how many common shares are outstanding and what's the share price of the firm. So let's look at it an example, and we can just kind of calculate our way through this. And it's, it's actually pretty straightforward uh, calculation. So let's say that we have Ice Cream World is our is our company. It's it's publicly traded, and we want to know what is the market value of this firm's common equity. Market value of common shareholders' equity, not the stockholders' equity we'd see on the balance sheet, right? Not balance sheet. We want to know the market value of that equity. So how do we go about doing it? Well, we need to know again the share price and the common shares outstanding, and we just multiply those two together. So let's just say, let, let's put some numbers to this. Let's say that the share price for Ice Cream World is $35 a share. You look it up in the stock market, you see it's $35 a share. Uh, and then you, you look and see that there are common shares outstanding for Ice Cream World uh, let's say that it has 200,000 shares that are outstanding. 200,000 shares. And, and all you do is you just take the product of these two numbers, and that will yield your market cap. So in this case, it's going to be $7 million. $7 million. And this is a proxy that a lot of uh, analysts use uh, for the firm size. So you might say, okay, well, we're looking at a firm, this is a seven, seven million dollar firm in terms of looking at its market cap in terms of its size. 